Okay, welcome to this video which explains how to export a list of file names for files that are contained in a folder tree of documents into Microsoft Excel so that you've got a complete listing of all of the files. So over here I've got a library of documents contained in a bunch of folders. In my case all of the folders contain PDF documents and outside of those folders I've got an Excel spreadsheet which is called list of docs version 1 and as you can see over here it's actually an empty spreadsheet um, and it's the one named list of docs uh, version 1. So to begin with I'm going to come up here into the search box and I'm going to type in .pdf to search for all of the documents in the folder that have .pdf as their file name. I'm then going to go uh, control A to select all of the documents. I'm going to hold down the shift key, right click and select copy as path and that's going to copy the paths of all of those documents onto the clipboard. I'll then come to Excel, go control V to paste and all of the path information for the documents in the folder tree is now um, visible here in Excel. I'm then going to delete the initial part of the path that I don't want so everything up to library of docs which is my top level folder I want to get rid of that so I'm going to copy to put it on the clipboard I'm going to select the entire column A, which uh, already the cells that contain the data. I'm going to go Control Find. I'm going to select the Replace option. In the Find field, I'm going to put the portion of the path that I want to delete. And in the Replace field, I'm going to leave it empty and click Replace All. So Find and Replace with nothing. Okay, so that has reduced my path information to just the portion containing the folder names and the file names in those folders. Alright, so coming back to Excel, I now want to divide the data into separate columns for the folder name and the file name. But before I do that, I'm just going to make a duplicate over here, which I might use a bit later. Then I'm going to come back, select column A, go to the Data tab, select Text to Columns, click Delimited, and then specify backslash as a delimiter. Click finish and it's now separated the folder names and the file names. I then want to break the file names up so I've got date and description. So again I'm going to go text to columns but this time I'm going to use the underscore as my delimiter. Click finish and I've now divided up the dates and the file names. Uh, for these descriptions I want to get rid of .pdf because it looks kind of clumsy there. So find and replace with nothing again and all the PDF notations are gone. I'm now just going to insert a column or two over here and I want to take the dates and put them on the left hand side because I think that's the most logical place for them. So now I've got date, category, and then description. I'm also going to go ahead and make this column a bit narrower. Insert one more column. In this row I want to have my document numbers. So I'm just going to put in the row number, which will match to the document numbers in my list. And in this column I'm going to put in a hyperlink. And I'm going to use the path over here. And I'm just going to use the word link to describe the link. And I'm then going to copy... Oh, I actually just opened up the document by accident there. But what I meant to do was to copy this down through all of them. I did, of course, just demonstrate that the links are working, which is good. And I will delete these columns because they're not needed. And now I have a working list uh, with all the documents. If it was a civil litigation dispute, I could uh, use this as the list of documents uh, to provide to the opposition, indicating all the documents which uh, the party is listing as relevant to the lawsuit. And as we saw a moment ago, the links do work to open up the documents. So um, I could review the documents using the spreadsheet and I could even add a notes column 
over here. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this column because we don't need the path column visible when we're adding our annotations. Uh, we can go ahead, we can review a document. Uh, we can say this is a Home Depot receipt. We can uh, over here add a comment about receipt and various comments can be made from the document review. Of course, you wouldn't include those comments when you produce your list of documents to the opposition, but I just showed you that to illustrate that not only can this be the list of documents that you disclose in litigation, but also it can be a tool for review of a long list of documents and uh, keeping notes based on that document review. Keep in mind that this is like any other set of data in Excel. So for example, you can sort by column C if you want to put all the data into date order. Or if, for example, you want to group together all the Home Depot receipts, you could sort by column D and that would group all of those together. As well, you'll notice that Excel has successfully recognized all of the dates. And that brings up an important point regarding file naming convention. The reason why Excel recognized the dates was because all of the files that have dates were named with year, dash, month, dash, day. And then also important, we have an underscore because you would have noticed that that is used as a marker or a delimiter when separating the date from the description. So when you're creating files <clears throat> in your library of documents, it's very important that all of your files have correct names according to a file naming convention, which is date in that format, underscore, and description. And if you do that, you'll be able to follow the process that I've just demonstrated here. All right, well, that's an explanation of how you can export a list of files from a library of documents into Microsoft Excel, and it can be used for different purposes, but certainly document production in litigation is one of them.